stem cell or a bone marrow transplantation is a potential curative option for a lot of diseases. There are more than 100 diseases, both cancerous and non-cancerous, which can be cured with bone marrow or a stem cell transplantation. And mind you, most of diseases are life-threatening and do not have a better potential curative option. Now, the stem cell transplant can be done from three different cell sources. One is called as bone marrow, other is called as peripheral blood stem cells, and the third is cord blood. Now, when a baby is born, this cord blood can be stored and kept, kept in a cord blood blood bank and can be used for transplant purposes. Now, there are two beautiful things about cord blood. One is that cord blood is very rich in stem cells. The concentration of stem cells in cord blood is very high. And number two is that it's immunologically naive. It has not seen the outside world yet because they're collected from newborn babies. And also this cord blood otherwise anyways goes in the dustbin because it has got no other value. So if stored in a cord blood bank, it can be used for a stem cell transplant for someone and can cure somebody's life-threatening situation which would otherwise not have any other cure. Now this cord blood, when it's required for a transplant purpose, we need to do something called as matching between the patient and the cord blood. And more number of cord bloods you have in your cord blood banks, the higher would be the chances that the patients would be matching the cord blood which is present in the cord blood bank. Now this initiative of life cell, which is wherein they are doing something called as community banking. That means all the patient, all the families and, and donating their cord blood or, or storing their cord blood in the life cell uh, cord blood bank becomes a property or access to that is for the, all, the, all the members or all the families who have stored their cord blood in their cord blood bank. And that gives a chance to each one of them to have access to anybody else's cord blood and the chances that you know there will be someone in this community cord blood bank will be matching if one of these unlucky patients within that community requires transplantation. So I congratulate and I thank you for such an initiative wherein you have made this private cord blood bank more accessible by giving a community cord blood bank uh, initiative wherein the cord blood can be accessed by so many and hundreds and thousands of these families who have stored their cord blood in the cord blood bank. Thank you.